Dad, I've been talking a little bit about getting Big Mama a grapple because she's about got her grapple busted all to mess. And uh, in the middle of this, I got to thinking, what if we could weigh our trucks to where when they go down the road, they got a full load but not an overloaded load every time? Well, old boy from Waste System got a hold of me through, uh, uh, David Cuddy did a bit on him in the past, and they got a hold of him. He said, hey, I got a system that you're going to need. So everybody meet JP. Yep. <laughs> And he's going to tell us about his waste system that he's organized here. And he's going to give us kind of a rundown of how this thing's supposed to operate. Yeah, it's, it's actually a really simple way. Basically, what you do is we have the hydraulic cylinder here. Uh, it goes between the rotator and uh, the end of the crane. So it needs to be free hanging grapple. And, so uh, which way? This is the end of the crane. Yeah, that's the end of the crane descent. And this, this is the grapple. The grapple, yeah. We can take this apart later and show it insides anyway. It's, it's really gotcha. robust. Yeah, I'd like to see the inside and make yeah. sure this thing's robust enough to do what we're trying to do. For sure. Because it's a hydraulic cylinder, it, it never changes its qualities. So it never needs to be recalibrated or adjusted. Other types As of, opposed to a weigh bar or something? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. They're, 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 they're very accurate day one, but because of your nature of timber where you're beating the timber. Yeah, yeah. Well, beating the timber into submission. <laughs> that's why. <what? laughs> it, 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 it's a real world application. Yeah. You know, so that's it. So the hydraulic cylinder will, will stay the same forever more like. And it doesn't ever need to be recalibrated because the cylinder doesn't ever change. Gotcha. It's still a hydraulic cylinder. Gotcha. Obviously now we'll see later again, but it's a special cylinder because it can't rotate in itself. Because if you put a normal cylinder there, it'll rotate and wind up all the pipes. Gotcha, yeah, so it, yeah, it as you're work. rotating and stuff. So that's what this bar does? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this bar, well, we'll see that in a minute. Yeah, exactly. We'll okay. That, simple enough. But basically, this is the electronics, we'll say, that goes into the cab then. So you have your cylinder here. This okay. is plumbed in with a hydraulic pipe, quarter inch pipe, back along the, the boom of the crane, back to your pressure transducer. So this converts the hydraulic pressure to electric pressure. So, so you, I got a quarter inch line running from here yeah. back to the cab. Yeah. So no wires on the crane. So no you, wires on the beam, okay. So yeah. the chafing and stuff like that's not gonna be that much of a problem, okay? No, no, yeah. That was a concern I had. Cause uh, yeah, I mean, even with the lights out there on the end of it and stuff, you get into issues with the- More and more okay. problems for sure. So eliminate all that, at least with an, a hydraulic eye leak, if something happens, you know where the problem is. Gotcha. You know, so uh -huh. you put this safe back near the cabin or back near the, the hydraulic somewhere and Hydraulics this end to your link, and then this end in electrics here goes up into your box. Here, so that cable that plugs in here. This is your pressure, okay. pressure transducer. Yeah. Okay. Now we have this is only my test box just to simulate. That's your test box. The thing. operation. Okay. Yeah. Convert the hydraulic pressure when you lift your grapple. It exerts a pressure on the ram here, and it sends a signal back to the hydraulic line back to our transducer. Okay. And we convert that pressure to kilos. Okay. Or pounds. Sorry. <laughs> We went through all this. All the metric system is simple. <laughs> it is. It's more simple technically, but um, but this is our, this is basically our test box here that, that I just had set up. This converts electrics back into our box in here. So now we can okay. see, we can see the pressure of the control here, okay. and this is a power supply here. That's coming from the battery. Yeah, and that's just, what, what if I got 24 volt system? No problem. It'll work between 8 to 32 volts. 8 to 30, okay. Because uh, obviously your, your system. Mine's 12 that I'm putting in, but. Yeah. So you can work R24, it doesn't matter. Just okay. Straight in. <clears throat> if you put the wires the wrong way, it doesn't blow, blow it to bits either. So it's just, it's just full. So you got a diode get. in there to keep that from happening. It's as safe as we can make it. <clears throat> yep, so, got you. Yeah, a little one amp fuse here as well in the system as well in case. Okay. Um, just the power supply into it, no problem. Uh, here we have another wire here for a buzzer. We'll show you that a bit later when uh, when you through the operation. Of it. Yes, when I get it operating. So basically, in the cab, all you have here is just this. This is our little screen here, and it mounts okay. in a ball in a socket lock. Okay. Which is really neat and tight. Yes. And just a single cable up to it from inside the panel. Okay, and that goes, and this goes in the panel in a safe place. Back okay. Out, back out of the way, yeah. Okay. So basically, the operation here, we're going to simulate that by using our test box. Now wait a minute, this go, where does this go though? That's, um, that'd be your switch, we'll say, if you had, let's say, a self-loader crane, we'll say, a self-loader. Okay. You'd have to switch under your handle. Gotcha. So you take the weight each time now. This, okay. This cable goes back in here. But you don't have this hooked up so I can take this wire and mount into my joystick, right? If you like, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yes, okay. you do that, yeah. Okay. You, you have to have a 
switch input. You have to. You have to have a switch to tell it the way. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Because there's too many variables in the real world, lifting and moving timber, and yep. maybe you might be slewing all the way around before you drop yeah. it again, and all the things that go on. Yeah, and if you're loading a truck, my concern was if you're loading a truck, skitter comes in, you got to pull the drag out of the way for him. Yeah. And then go back to loading your truck. Then yeah. that's going to be that's not going to be effective. No problem. Okay. At all. No problem. All right. so, that's why that's why the button is there. Keep it simple. Copy. Uh, again, that button you just solder that in, just leave it. And then if I don't want to use that, I just you just use the cable, yeah. And then I plug this. I bring this up into my joystick. Yeah, you're, you're, okay. Or we can you can have a foot pedal as well if it suits. If it suits okay. the operation, stick on the foot. So gotcha. It, it, some some machines might have all the buttons used or, okay. or have no facility. But <clears throat> the operation here, then you see here at the top of the screen. I say this is our grapple weight here. So we can see the cylinder pressure on the top of the screen here as well. So you can see that in pressure. The bar, in yeah. the power pressure, yeah. Sorry, you know. Uh, as we lift the grapple, as we lift the grapple, then we press the button, same as your on your armrest. Bang, that's what you, that's what you have on the truck. So that's your running load. Yep. Yeah. And you, if you press the button, you can't weigh the same grab twice. So if you're on the phone one, as you'll probably be, yep, yep. You, 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 you could did away the grab line. Yeah. So you, yeah. you can take right, we'll try it again, it doesn't matter. So you can't weigh it twice. Until, gotcha. Until the weight is taken off it and then you go again. Next and then when and that's simulating letting go of the grapple. So once the weight drops down below that again or down to however many bar you got your knuckle boom set at or your uh, back plant? To, to zero kilos. Okay. Once it drops to zero kilos, then it's reset ready for the next time again. Okay. So next grapple again. Bang. Press it again. Now you have seventeen hundred and twenty three kilos on the truck. Yeah. Cause that was 12 adding to the, okay. Yeah. Now, let's say now if we weigh, like right, that grab is weighed there now. So we said, right, if in the real world again, you're bringing a grab full of sticks to the trailer and yep. the stick drops out of the trailer, or out of the grab going to the trailer, you say, oh, I didn't want that grab to be weighed. You can take off that complete grab, leave it to one side and just briefly press this. And it takes the last grab off the weight. Oh, wow. It says reset weight, okay. Right, well, just it's after taking the last grab off. So if you make a mistake with a grapple or whatever. You make a mistake and you want to start all over on, on that one on grab, that one okay. Grab, yeah. And okay. Long, it'll only take the one grab off. Just just brief press to that. Gotcha. So next thing you go back to your grab again. Go again. Take a next grab. We'll just do a quick a few grabs here because I I like that because one beep lets you know as an operator you're not paying attention to that screen. Never you never look at this. So when you beeps once when you hit the button and it beeps again when what's the second beep about? If we see you now one beep is when we press the button, and we get two beeps when when the calculation is finished. So okay, so after the computer knows that it's there, it tells you two beeps, so you know it's done. But so basically now we we have just over four ton and sixty kilos on the truck. We lift the next grapple again. Now we have an overload flag set here. Now this is set at 6,000 kilos. Normally to be in real life, to be 20. So if you overload your rig at any time? You, you, you set this limit to where you want it to be. So now we have, just for. That's your max payload, got gotcha. you. It okay. can be whatever it is. So, okay. So we just said set a six ton. So now we're at five ton, 200 on the truck. We go lift the next grapple. Now if you accept that grapple, that grapple now is going to put your payload Overweight. Over, over your and the limit. red and the red line right there tells you you're overweight. Yeah. Automatically. Yeah. Automatically, yeah. Because it knows you would just grab on now it's gonna be overweight. So you drop it, pick up a smaller log. Yeah, you could you could take it off, yeah, and, and go under what you need to be left. But we'll say you accept that grapple, because it doesn't if that's what you accept. Now we accept it. Now your total load is overweight. But we okay. we have a set of six ton. So we're overweight now. Now it doesn't okay. stop you from working at all, but it means that uh, when you're operating a machine without looking at this, suddenly you see the colors change. You see a red color change. Yeah, yeah. it makes it easier. Okay. Now if, if you want, if you don't like this, you set it three ton above where you're going to be and you'll never see it. <laughs> if, you know, if, if, if you want to concentrate on the numbers. Okay, let's yeah. say I'm done. I'm going to the next truck. Yeah. What do I do now? If, now just, just, uh, before you do that, if you want, as you said now, if you, if you finish, say, a half a load tonight and you turn off the machine, you can turn off the, the electrics to this and turn it back on in the morning and the exact same numbers are still on the screen. Wow. It doesn't okay. reset. It'll never reset. If it's there for 100 years, it won't reset. With so, battery power or without? No, no if I, what if I shut my batteries off? Yep, yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll unplug it here, simulate it. Now, okay. That's dead. Now I just need to... Kick back into gear again. 
Here we are, same numbers again. Yeah, interesting. So if you turn it off at night or whatever, or half fill a load at night, <clears throat> is no problem. You don't have to try and scribble the numbers or think you forgot it. Like. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. Trying, yeah, yep. all these things. So basically, all you need to reset this completely is just hold this button for three seconds. Bang. Done. And then ready for the next load. There's, there's your grapple at zero again. That's the that's, that's top one to grapple weight. And everything's at zero. It's a simple It's ready test. for the next load, okay? You have nothing to worry about with this. It's basically 100% reliable. Okay. And you have nothing here to do. So no matter what age operator or the, the guy driving the machine or lady, yeah. you, you, <laughs> yeah. you can, you can uh, all you do is just press the button here to reset. And this is the single button on your lever that you need to just add the graphics. Now we can change the program and now that will go, now the mind this figure here does not calibrate it. Okay. But, but this would lift about four, 4.5 tonne. Okay. Now we can change the software if you have a heavy duty application. Okay. We can change that to a 400 bar sensor. Okay. And a 400 bar sensor we can lift over six tonne. If you, okay. have, if you have a six tonne, say in a scrap application or okay. if you have a big crane or some, some cranes might be big lifting big timber. Okay. Then, then but obviously, this this would need to be beefed up then as well to suit the application. Okay, gotcha. Well, we have we have made all types of bespoke links. We've made massive links for 25 ton lee bear machines and excavators and stuff with the U bracket on the top to suit yeah. your jib. Yeah, go excavator. around go around the jib. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. whatever the individual requirement or how heavy you want it to be, we can make it heavy enough. Okay, that it won't break. Gotcha. And as I said, back to the simplicity of it, it's a hydraulic cylinder. So yeah, there's nothing in that to go wrong. But like the electrics here, the secret sauce is in the electrics. It's in here in in the in the box. So yeah, that's that's our secret sauce there. Again, we can we can show your calibration here and press the button. Now it's obviously not calibrated, but we can show when you've calibrated, you can show it here. Gotcha. So you, you have your values. So you got your low weight and your low pressure. Okay. Yeah. So you, you you need to calibrate with two known weights. Gotcha. To get your correct uh, values. Which we'll get into that when we hook it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Simple enough. So that's um, basically, as I said, your payload is there. You open down arrows, wherever you want it to be. Just set your, just set your payload or whatever you want it as. Yeah, whatever you want it to be. Like, so it says 28 ton or whatever you want to be. Like, it's as simple as that. Okay. And that's when your red indicator comes on. Gotcha. So, but for your, your run of the mill operator, there's absolutely nothing to know about. You have to press one button. You get the one beep in your ear, and you press the button, and then you get the double beep when the calculation is finished. Okay. That's the key. You need to have, have it finished. Yeah, so you don't have to look at anything. You need never yeah. look at it. You're just listening to the beeps. And then it'll turn red. The screen will turn red. It'll turn red when you're done. Yeah, when you're finished uh, at so, your limit. Yeah. Gotcha. But it doesn't stop you from working. Like, there's no problem. No, no, it. yeah. But it's, it's just, just an indicator again. Just to let you know if, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so um, as I said, that's... Um, this, this is, we call it our cabin version, because it obviously needs to be neat and tidy with the ball and socket, because you haven't that much room in most cabs. Yes. Especially in Europe, on, on yeah. cabin cranes. Or, gotcha. They'll build around the driver. Yes, gotcha. And, um, but in, in the top seat version, we say that the self-loader type crane, we have a complete waterproof box. That, that for, for outdoors? Yeah. Gotcha. It's IP69 seal, and it's explosion proof, and it's serious, serious, um, ceiling and, and all this is incorporated in the one box okay so just put the one black box you see it on our website as well if you look up so our go website. look up your website so yeah. what's what's your website i'll put the link in the description but what yeah. is your website here uh, it's www.latehose.com l-a-t-e-h-o-s-e.com or if you want if you go into youtube and just put in lh way pro and we have some videos there as well so there's uh, okay lh way pro yeah gotcha um, that's that's a whole lot there so well let's crack this baby open and see what it looks like yeah exactly we'll take that apart. uh basically we th this end is onto your your boom your your, your digger machine and uh this end goes onto your rotator let's we'll just reassemble it that's here. heavy duty stuff man It's in there. Pin goes through so there. your grapple hangs on this end? On this end, yeah. Your grapple hangs on that end, and you're in your boom, this skin goes your boom. Yep, and it was primed. <laughs> <laughs> so basically when you lift the grapple then, it pulls this down, and the weight then, it, it exerts the pressure on the hydraulics in the cylinder, and we feel the pressure then with our electronics in the cab. So you can weigh each grapple, and then accumulate each grab 
unto your Lord. And we'll get into that later, and you can check that out uh, on their website at uh, what's your website? www.latehose.com. And then he's got a demonstration on them using it on a self-loading crane. And you got these all over the world at this point, don't you? Yeah, well, in, in, in Ireland, we have basically 100% of the market in Ireland and probably 60 to 80% of the market in the UK. And we have units wow. working in, in Canada as well, in extreme minus 50 degrees. So it's working in all types of different temperatures and conditions. And because it's a hydraulic cylinder, it doesn't ever change its qualities. Like the worst thing that can happen with the cylinder is just a seal to go once in a lifetime. Yeah. The mechanics never change. It never needs to be recalibrated or anything like that to be done with. Once it's done the first time, it's never recalibrated again. Never, it doesn't ever need to be done. Exactly. Unless, unless you change your grapple and rotator because your tear weight of the hanging grapple is, is different then, but it never changes in the lifetime of the, the system. Gotcha. Cool, well, what was we in the middle of? Pinning it. That's it. You see. Pretty robust. All Swedish metal. Maybe. And the Swedes are known for their metal. <laughs> yeah, sure. Not definitely heavy duty. We and watches. No, that's a Swiss. Swiss. <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> wow. So that so this is the piston that does the squirt that out out there. Well, we can't do it now. Flatten. Yeah, but basically. The... Oh, there it is. There it is. So once you prime that and get all the air out of it, yeah, then your system and that and that's a, so there's an oil there's not no electronics going through your 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 boom. See that's a big complaint I had was I thought you was going to set me a wire to the boom and then and then we don't have good luck with wires no. <laughs> in the boom. Well, but the hose then your hose can be more durable and then you can wrap your hose and then if you pull on or something gets in so you can run some pretty heavy duty hose quarter inch hose ain't it? Yeah, quarter inch two wire mm -hmm. hose yeah. So. Normal hydraulic line. Yeah. At, le at least you know where, where it's after failing anyway. Cause the, yeah, you don't have failing. to uh, check for ohms or nothing, do you? No, no, no. <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. <laughs> that's, uh, we can make any type of link to suit any type of machine. Yeah, you've got it on great big excavators and everything else. Uh, yeah. Yard loaders and everything. It's yeah. Anywhere you're loading out your loads and you got to know what your weight is. Yeah, it accumulates each grab full and you know how much in the total then is on your, on your truck. Keep it legal. Or at least know how yes. far from legal you are. <laughs> Perfectly <laughs> legal, Officer Hoover. We would not push that in below. <laughs> All right, one last thing that popped up. Me and him got to arguing over how accurate can this thing possibly be. You know what I mean? So I got to pulling his leg and messing with him. And what'd you say? Uh, we, we, we definitely is plus or minus one percent. Plus or minus one percent. One percent. There's no way it's that accurate. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And this guy is getting it closer. If you really want to work on your diesel usage to the mill and things like that, I like, can really go tight to the margins. <laughs> yeah, so. so he pulled out a list. Okay. He pulled out this list. This old boy had been sending lists on the phone where he's driving to the mill and unloading his way tickets, his actual way tickets from his whole truck. Gross wage, yeah. And what was the difference on most of them? You're talking probably. That was 20, that was about 20 loads that you showed me. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's sending me, sending me his list every week. And every, his gross load is 44 ton gross. He's getting 43,980, 43,900, 44 on the nose. Yeah, I seen three yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. Three of them was 44 on the dot. It's yeah. 4400. Yeah, <laughs> but like you're talking, that's how close he can get it. You know, so like you, you can, it is very possible. And that's repetitively from different guys that said that to me. Like, that they can get it that close. Now, if you're not, if you're a little bit careless and things like that, then yeah. your accuracy will go out. You'd have to know where your diesel fuel's at in your tank. Yeah, you need to, to get it that close. And and also, it might be too applicable to yourself here now, but like definitely up in Canada, they need to allow for say snow on on the load traveling between them. They could they could gain a ton of snow <laughs> on the road. You know, it, these, these are or even even the rain like it, like it's, you can hear in the background is falling. Yeah, the rain could soak it in the wood. Yeah, it could go on. Could have three hundred kilos. If you're down to that precise, it's uh, yeah. yeah yeah yeah. But it, like, well, it's definitely it, it is what is repetitively good and accurate like that. It's it's that's the way it is. For that's impressive. Life. Yeah, and it don't have to be recalibrated. No, no, because once you re, once you've calibrated with your with your grapple and your rotator on it, unless you change basically the grapple. The hanging hang and tear weight. That's the only thing you can change. Okay. You know, if, if you if you uh, change grapple or something like that, then yeah. you'd have to. Yeah, you'd have gotcha. to. You'd have to Interesting. Yeah. Well, there it is, guys. 
This is what we're getting ready to put on Big Mama's rig after we get her grapple in. Sometime this spring, I'm gonna get this on Mama's rig. Hopefully the first of April is what we're aiming to. Aiming the first of April, bring it, bring her rig off the job we're on and uh, install this Waypro and install her new grapple. So hopefully we'll see what this thing's gonna do.